Hi, this is my um, observations from having done the free eight hour trial with the med bed. Um, I have a number of health conditions, several of which are chronic and impact my daily life significantly. And one of those is chronic insomnia. I don't even know when it first started, but over the years it's gotten much worse. Uh, I never slept well that I can remember. Uh, my sleep has always been light. I've been diagnosed with mild sleep apnea, but my sleep is so light, I can't use a CPAP, I can't use anything um, that interferes even more with my ability to relax. And I notice things on my body and light and sound and all that stuff extensively. So. Um, that's not an option for me, and I've gotten to the point where now I'm dependent on sleep medication, which I don't like taking medication, and I avoid it at all costs. But um, when I have to just survive, I will take it. So I have been taking sleep medication, and um, I, I never get rested sleep. I mean, there's been a handful of times where I feel like I actually slept through the night and woke up with energy. Um, so I noticed that the morning after I did the trial, I felt like I had slept deeper than normal. It wasn't profound. I didn't wake up jumping out of bed, filled with energy, ready to start my day. But I did remember thinking that um, I don't remember waking up a thousand times during the middle of the night. And that was nice. The other thing that is a chronic condition for me is that I have a maltracking issue with my kneecap. And I was told in my 20s that that was a, um, just a product of how my frame was put together and the angle of my hips to my knees. <clears throat> I injured my left knee in high school. And um, in my 20s, I was very active and I was working out quite a bit and I was running quite a bit. And I started having pain in the left knee. And at that point in time, I was told I needed that knee replaced, that it looked like uh, the knee of a professional soccer player at the end of their career. And uh, I was too young to have it replaced and I should wait until I was 40. I was younger than 30. I hadn't even hit 30 yet with that diagnosis. Um, ultimately, I ended up having several knee surgeries in that knee at one point just to allow me to walk without a limp. And that that was to try to um, make the kneecap track a little bit better. And unfortunately, it could only do so much. It did allow me to walk without a limp, but through the course of um, time since that knee surgery and because it only did so much, uh, my right knee has gone down the same path as my left, though not as bad because there was never an injury in the left but my um, cartilage is all worn out on the outsides and I have pain when I do certain motions. Um, not 100% of the time, but frequently and um, almost always when I bend the knee past a certain angle, knees past a certain angle. Um, <clears throat> so I noticed that uh, my pain was gone in both of my knees when I woke up after the eight hour trial. Uh, again, I it fluctuates. You know, some days it hurts more than other days. Some days it doesn't hurt at all. But that is the second observation that I noticed after doing the eight-hour trial.